Hey everyone, this is my 1977 Pontiac Can-Am for sale. Thought I'd make this video to augment the listing with all the photos um, and just go around the car and talk about its condition and features. So starting off, we'll do the exterior, just do a walk around. The exterior in this car has lots of little nicks, there's a little dent there, there's some bubbling of the paint. This is the original paint, original decals. You can see there, there's some, some touch-up. More over here on the doors, area of some bubbling. So that's really the theme when it comes to the exterior of the paint from, you know, from back here, the car looks fine, and then you get up close and you start seeing all these things. I'm just gonna, there's some, a scratch with some touch-up paint on it. This is all done by the previous owner over the years. I mean, this is, again, the original 40-year-old paint job. The decals, this is typical. They all have, you know, some cracking, some uh, pieces missing from them. All of the metal emblems like the Le Mans Sport Coupe, all those things are still intact uh, on the car. That bottom piece of vinyl, that black piece of vinyl, you can see there's pieces of it missing there, pieces of it missing there. Um, going around this way, you can see some paint there. Come over to the hood. Some scratches there. Small little ding there. Chrome is in really good shape on the bumpers. The, uh, the original owner, sometime around uh, between 2000 and 2010, from when I've been able to piece together, painted the headlight and taillight bezels to match the Cameo white. Um, you can see there the chrome is under there. So if you take some paint stripper to those and take that paint off and you have the original chrome look back, but he wanted to go with kind of a monocolor front and rear. Come around on this side. Little thing right there. Some more little scratches and touch of paint. There's that other logo. This undercarriage uh, black decals in much better shape than the driver's side. You can see there's just that little piece there missing. So, come around this way. There's a small rust spot right here. This car has remarkably little amount of rust on it. I mean, that's one of the worst parts on the whole car. This is the second worst rust spot on the car where the paint is kind of bubbled up here. Inside the fender though, I don't know if you can really see this, but there's not any rust in here. I mean, everything kind of has a little bit of like surface rust. If you see this bolt, it's definitely, you know, not black anymore. It's kind of rustish in color, but there's a degree of surface rust everywhere, but nothing that's like rotting through or anything like that. I and mean, even this is still not cracking or falling apart and disintegrating when you touch it. So, you know, in the wheel wells, It looks good. Okay, come around here. You can see the taillight bezel painted white, like I talked about. This decal's in good shape, better shape than the other ones at least. But the paint on the spoiler 
getting close there. It's all a little, you know, cracking. There's a big old crack in the paint there. Again, chrome on this bumper. Really nice. All the rubber is there on the back of the bumper. Trunk. So at some point in its life, this car was rear-ended uh, when the original owner had it. He, his son told me that he had to replace the trunk and the spoiler. And he managed to find a donor Can-Am for the spoiler. And he believes that the trunk came from a regular Le Mans, not specifically a Can-Am. I don't know about any uh, anything other than that, like the rear quarter panels, if those had to be replaced. I don't think they did. He didn't mention that they were replaced, and also this dent here, you can see, makes me think that they weren't replaced because then that wouldn't be there. Um, that's one. This is this right here is probably the biggest dent in the car with. This, really the only other one that's not like dime sized being this one up here that we looked at earlier so those are the two main body issues let's see on this side what the shape of that fender should look like so We talked about that rust spot on this side, right there. You can see coming up here to the rear window, there's a little bit of bubbling there as well. And there, it's about the worst of it. Um, the paint, you can see there, that coat is starting to kind of show its age there. The worst part of the paint is right here on this uh, driver's side rear quarter panel. That coat is peeling off. I don't know, maybe after the accident they just painted this quarter panel because you can follow that line of paint to about right here. And then with the door, it doesn't have anything like that. It just says the touch-ups and the scratches and things like that so that gives you a overview of the body and paint and up on this piece you can see coming up from that rear driver side quarter panel it's got that coat coming apart but then after that it doesn't have anything like that on the hood i mean on the on the roof um, only other thing in terms of rust that I need to point out is in the same spot as the other one, the, behind the wheel on the driver's side, that's the worst spot of rust in the entire car. You can see that bubbling right there. And that's about, oh, well, it's about, about eight inches long, that, that rust bubble there. Again, on the inside, looking at the wheel well, it's still got that black paint in there. It's not, there's no holes, there's no, nothing's rusting or rotting through. Um, really remarkable how little rust there is on this car. I mean, there's just those two little spots and a few little bubbles on the top of the trunk that I showed you. You can take a look at the photos on the listing. And there'll be a few of the undercarriage. You'll see the floor pans are in great shape, no rust on them. So I wanted to point that stuff out. Um, we talked about the two dents. We talked about the accident, the tires, brand new, less than 500 miles on them, uh, original rims and uh, wheel trim as well. The only thing that isn't 100% correct is you can see on these center caps, I believe that this should have like a Pontiac uh, emblem inserted in there that clips in there and not just be painted red. But other than that, brand new tires, original wheels. And the tires, I still have the certificates. 
from the uh, second owner when he bought them. Which, the second owner is the original owner's son. He bought them at Discount Tire here in Phoenix, Arizona, and they have lifetime uh, certificates on them, good for repair or replacement anywhere where there's a discount tire. So those will come with the vehicle. And then weather stripping is another thing I want to point out. You can see it also appears to be original. You can see there it's been glued. It's just, you can see it's, it needs to be replaced. Weather stripping is something that, you know, if you wanted to repaint this car, then that would be the time to do it. Let's show you the trunk real fast. I've got it unlocked. So we have the original spare donut and the jack and jack stand. So all that is included. The uh, You can see the weather stripping on the trunk in real bad shape. Um, but cheap and still readily available. I want to point out these holes that are drilled in the trunk. I don't know what is going on with these holes. Um, whether that happened when they are getting them from the Le Mans, like remove them, they had to drill through here. I'm not sure what that's all about, but it doesn't affect obviously operation or anything like that. But wanted to point it out. Pontiac 400 6.6 .6 liter. There we go. And it runs fantastically well. The entire cooling system was just replaced. So we have a new three core aluminum radiator, new heater hoses, new radiator hoses. Um, this is new too, the air intake tube. Come around the side, you can see it a little better. So right there you can see we have new timing cover, new water pump, new divider plates. Um, all the pulleys nicely freshly painted along with the brackets, new thermostat. So entire cooling system has been replaced and it runs perfectly on temperature the thermostat's 195 it runs at 195 to 200 degrees just like it should uh, let's talk about some upgrades that the original owner did here you can see the heads those are not the original heads um, i have the original heads they'll be included in the sale but those are ram air three heads i believe off of the 68 gto and Maybe down there you can see that headers are also installed. New plugs and wires. And those headers go down to uh, dual exhaust system, two cats and then quad um, exhaust tips out the rear. Uh, oil change just done last week. As I said, this thing runs beautifully. This car, as you can see by the condition of the exterior and the interior, this car is a driver car. This isn't in showroom condition, but it wouldn't take much to get into showroom condition. It just needs, you know, some body work and a paint job, and you're there. Let's talk about the carb real fast. Don't wanna overlook the carburetor. Rochester, 800 CFM, Quadrajet. You can see that some components here are missing and blocked off. The original owner removed the EGR uh, and emissions equipment. That's why these hoses are capped off. Uh, he did that, I believe, at the same time that he did the heads and headers. Uh, you know, I wanted to turn this more into like a drag car, performance car, and so he had all that stuff removed. The way that I have this insured with classic car insurance, I don't need to get emissions, so there's no need to put that stuff back in for me. Um, and my mechanics over at Vintage Auto Repair, they said, you know, it's running great. Let's just leave it the way it is. I mean, you don't need the emissions equipment, the EGR, and it's running great. So let's not touch it. So 
there's the battery it looks like a date of August 14 on the battery August 2014 uh, the only thing in here that I can think of da, 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 that doesn't work is the pump for the windshield washer fluid doesn't pump the fluid to shoot out onto the windshield out of here the wipers work that motor is good but the fluids not pumping out of the reservoir uh, so I think it's it's either just a pump or the lines block not sure but other than that everything under here is great love the car the way it runs interior interior is beautiful original firethorn red on the doors and up front the carpet this is the original color setup that the owner ordered. The white seats with the red interior. The seats have been reupholstered once before, so that's why they look so good. No rips, no tears in the front seats. They look awesome. Let me show you the carpet. The carpet's in really good shape considering its age. There's one hole. And that's over here by the uh, driver's left foot. You can see there's the rips there. Um, oh, you know what? I mean, there's right here also. So driver's left side carpet has some issues, but everywhere else it looks really great. There's the passenger side. And I'll show you around the back. Let's see, doesn't look like anyone ever really road back here the carpet's in great shape these seats have also been reupholstered but you can see there's a split there along the seam of this back seat and there's some discoloration on over here I don't know if you can see that gives you an idea of the scale oh three four inches long those little lines I don't know if those are sunspots but everything else I mean the headliner isn't sagging it's not ripped the dome light works really nice really nice interior look at the doors The only thing on this door, right on that handle, there's a little bit of a crack in the plastic. Okay, dash, steering wheel. Steering wheel is in really good shape. It's ha it has this uh, cover on it. And I don't know if the cover's been on there the whole time, but when I look underneath the cover, from what I can tell, the steering wheel looks like it's in perfect condition. So I'm guessing this cover has been on there for a really long time. Um, I haven't taken it off to see what the actual steering wheel looks like, but it looks great from the little parts that you can lift up and peek under. Instrument panel. Let me get in there. Clock isn't working. Don't know if that's just a fuse or what. Uh, every other gauge works. The fuel gauge, um, when you fill it up, it goes. the needle goes way past the fill line it goes like to here so the whole scale is just kind of tilted so it it runs out i was told of gas somewhere around here between you know empty and half halfway left so i was told not to take any chances with it when i get down to, uh half a tank fill it up but the other gauges work the speedometer works or you can see the 76,868 original miles the speedometer works although it is um, sometimes inaccurate and lagging behind your actual speed because the original owner changed out the rear end gears to 373 I believe from 304 308 maybe they were 323 I can't remember what they were but that obviously has an effect on the speedometer Cigarette lighter works, AM radio works, heater works, blower motor works, 
Still has the original radio tune suspension and badging and the Pontiac. You can see those lights work. Shifter on the console. Open that up. See it works. Glove box. Just really nice. Really, really nice interior. Can't believe this interior is 40 years old. Um, there's only one main crack, and that's on top of the dash. So you see that split, and there's a little bit of cracking up here, but the good news is nothing extends past this point right here. So nothing gets to the front of the dash. So if you wanted to hide that red dash mat up there and you're good. Um, oh, I thought of one other small imperfection down here on this seat. You can see that there's a plastic trim piece that goes around the seat. It looks like someone tried to screw it to someplace once before and now it is loose and, and cracked here, but it still sits up against the seat. I haven't had any trouble with it. It doesn't, you know, get caught or anything like that on your legs when you sit in it. But just really, really nice interior. So all that's left to do right now is start the car. Oh, we haven't talked about the hood mounted tech. That's an awesome feature. Love having it brand new. Just put that tack on there. Uh, couple days ago. There we go, 1977 Pontiac Can-Am, 76,000 miles, original engine, matching numbers and transmission, one owner for 35 years, and then he transferred the title to his son, and I've had it for the past six months. If you guys have any questions, just let me know, thank you.